What up, what a world, this your homeboy Wordplay TJ, and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, we're gonna talk about why Apple is saying that they pay a penny per stream. Stay tuned. All right, so Apple has released a statement saying that they pay a penny per stream on average from paid accounts from specific countries, which that's a lot of qualifiers <laughs> if you're if you're thinking about it because yeah that that that's that's a lot of hurdles to jump through if apple is really saying that they're paying a penny per stream but i want to kind of dive into it and let's just talk about it all right so according to apple they say we pay the same 52 percent headline rate to all labels so what does that mean according to music business worldwide that means that apple music takes 52 percent of their net revenue um that's so after sales and discounts and they split that amongst the rights owners the labels based off of the plays they receive so let me break that down just a little bit more so here's an example of what that means according to music business worldwide if apple music makes a thousand dollars in a month five hundred and twenty dollars gets paid to labels rights owners and basically in their example they say universal music has a deal where they get 35 percent of that 520 dollars so in turn umg will make 182 dollars hypothetically so what does this mean when we compare that to a penny per stream are we really getting a penny or are we just you know kind of in the midst of a PR tactic or a battle between Apple Music and Spotify on who serves the, the artist the best. When we talk about Apple's average per play rate, they say while royalties from streaming services are calculated on a stream share basis, um, and we talked about stream share in my Spotify video, be sure to check that out. Um, a play still has value. This value varies from subscription plan and country. There's those qualifiers, um, but average out to be about a penny. So for Apple Music individual paid plans in 2020, this includes labels and publisher royalties. They paid out a penny. So depending on the country, ultimately, and depending on the subscription, that's how you get paid a penny. So let's look into my numbers just a little bit because um, there's enough streams for me to, to say, hey, mm, I wanna kinda analyze this a little bit. So when I look at my stream, it paints a little bit of a different picture. On average, I earn about uh, 0.005 per stream globally, and that's me kind of zooming in on the, the decimal points. Because if I zoomed out on the decimal points, that decimal would be, you know, zero dollars, essentially. So I have to zoom in to see the fraction of a penny that I receive for a stream. And so on average, I receive more than I do from Spotify, but not that much more. So let's take an even closer look at it. So when I zoom out a little bit and I I, I add in uh, or I, I shift that decimal point just a little bit. That means that my average is about a penny globally, but that's only because in some cases I make zero dollars on average. And you know, when you move a decimal point that that really matters when you're analyzing numbers. So on average, I make zero and in some cases I make two cents. And so, there, there is a, there's a little bit of a give and take here. And so when you average out zero with pennies and two pennies, you end up having an average of a, 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 a whatever appears the most. And whatever appears the most in my earnings when I shift that decimal point is a penny. And basically you can see that here when I highlight it. Or so the bottom line is that I get a penny per stream in some countries, but not others. So you, as you can see, Great Britain here, I got, you know, two cents for a single stream, or I got one cent for a, a single stream. So it seems like I need to be advertising in Great Britain. So when we look at Apple Music's closing statements, they say that changes to the royalty system would shift royalties towards a small number of labels while providing less transparency to creators everywhere. And 
they said that they've done their research. I believe them because, you know, I haven't done the, the, the research outside of like this situation. So I don't know what they, I don't know what they know. They can know a lot. They can know very little. Um, and, and honestly, I don't think Apple's just out here to, to, to lie to us, but I do believe they're playing the PR game against Spotify with us in the middle. So how could you address this and how could you change your streaming royalties? Apparently you got to advertise in Great Britain. So if you want to advertise and grow your streams on, on Apple Music specifically, um, Ari Takes Academy has a, a course for streaming and Instagram growth. And that's our sponsor today. Open enrollment is until May 14th this year. So act quickly. The link is in the description for 10% off and they have flexible payments available for those that are on a budget. Essentially, this artist Lucidius is the one who kind of created this system where he, he went from uh, 150 monthly listeners on Spotify, 45 followers on Spotify, um, about 100, uh, about 1,500 likes on Facebook, and then that took him to um, 570,000 monthly listeners on Spotify after several years, by the way. 267,000 followers on Facebook, and then 162,000 followers on Instagram, 4.5 million monthly streams across all services, and then 15,000 to 20,000 per month just in streaming revenue. And he, he said that this took him years to get to that point. I took this course and it, of course it, it has taken me years to grow my revenue, but the revenue is growing. So I can testify to being a part of this course, learning, being a part of the Facebook group where we learn from each other and uh, continuing to grow. And I've done this thing for my clients. I've taught some of these skills in our videos and um, it's a great course to go through if you can afford it, if it's for you. Again, the link is down in the description and open enrollment close is on May 14th. So check it out now. Other than that, I appreciate you watching this video. Until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace. All right, so the video is over now. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you feel about it. And then watch more videos about the same subject up here. And then another video that YouTube recommends down here. Peace.